composed by the king of Lanka, Ravana, in a total of 18 stanzas, Shiva Tandava Stotram is probably one of the most popular Sanskrit compositions of all time. This composition is actually set in a very simple poetic meter called Pancha Chamaram, which is just eight repetitions of a short syllable followed by a long syllable. The rhythm of the entire stotram just goes na 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 and so on. But it is composed using such complex word combinations that run on for multiple lines with such vibrant arrangement of sounds that it transports the listeners into a state of trance, giving them a glimpse of Lord Shiva's cosmic dance right before their eyes. Despite its immense popularity, we rarely get to listen to the complete composition. Even if we do, many a times it is filled with a lot of mispronunciations because nobody really understands the complete meaning of all the words in it. So today, upon popular request, let's start our exploration of Shiva Tandava Stotram in complete detail. In this series of videos, let's learn each shloka of Shiva Tandava Stotram with the correct pronunciation of each syllable while also relishing the meaning of this divine work. You can now choose to skip or re-watch specific segments of this video by clicking on these timestamps in the description below. Before we get started with the shlokas, a word of thanks to all our patrons and supporters. It is because of your generous support that we are able to work towards creating more relevant content on a daily basis. Please check out the links in the description below if you too wish to support this effort. One of the many positive qualities of King Ravana was his absolute devotion towards Lord Shiva. His mad devotion towards Shiva is portrayed in many stories where he goes to enormous lengths to worship him. From trying to climb to the top of Mount Kailash while singing the praise of Shiva, to trying to bring his very own Atmalingam down to Sri Lanka for worship, the mad intensity with which he approached Shiva Puja is remarkable. This same mad intensity can also be seen in the words and sounds of Shiva Tandava Stotram. While many people connect with the Shabda Lankara or the beauty of sound immediately, they miss out on the Artha Lankara or the beauty of meaning due to the complexity of wordplay employed by Ravana, who was also a highly accomplished scholar. Because of this, a unique approach is required to understand this work. An in-depth exploration of a composition of this complexity in this format has never been attempted before. So what we'll be doing is, we'll arrange each shloka into multiple layers. The top level layers will have the key phrases which contain the main ideas conveyed in the shloka. All the supporting adjectives and descriptions that add beauty to these main ideas will be grouped in sub-layers, one layer below these top layers. If the phrases in these sub-layers in turn have other words which describe them further, they'll be grouped one level below them and this cascade goes on. Once we understand all aspects of these individual sections and the layers within them, we'll be able to see the poetic beauty and the grammatical intricacy unfold when I describe the meaning of the entire shloka in one go. Let's try and understand this with the first shloka. The word combinations of this shloka can be arranged like this. We see that there are two key phrases at the first level. These lines convey the main idea of the entire shloka. They are Shivaha Chakara Chanda Tandavam Lord Shiva performed a fierce and rapid dance. Here, the word Chakara is a verb in past tense, meaning he performed. And the second key phrase is Ayam Naha Shivam Tanotu May this form of Shiva surround us with auspiciousness. We also see that the first key phrase has three sub-layers to it. We'll understand each one of these sub-layers while keeping the parent layer in mind. Lord Shiva performed a fierce and rapid dance. Where did he perform it? Sthale, in a place. What kind of a place? Jala Pravaha Pavita Sthale, a place that has been purified by the flow of water. By the flow of which water? Jata Atavi Galat Jala, by water that is dripping down from the forest-like matted hair of Lord Shiva. Notice that this entire subsection is just one big compound word in Sanskrit. Jata Tavi Galat Jala Pravaha Pavita Sthale is actually one single word which literally means in a place that has been purified by the waters dripping down from the forest-like matted hair. Now that the first subsection is complete, we move on to understanding the meaning of the second subsection while still keeping the meaning of the parent layer in our mind. Lord Shiva performed a fierce and rapid dance. How did he perform it? Lambitam Bhujanga Tunga Malikam with the elongated garland of a snake, Gale Avalambya supported around his neck. 
The complete meaning of this subsection is Lord Shiva performed a fierce and rapid dance with the elongated garland of a snake supported around his neck. Now, moving on to the third subsection, again, Lord Shiva performed a fierce and rapid dance. How did he perform it? Dama Ruhu Nina Adavat by striking his hand drum Damad 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 Damat resounding with the repeated sounds of Damad 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 Damad. I will now describe the meaning of the entire shloka in one go. See if you can correlate it with the words in each of the top level and the sub level layers. Lord Shiva performed a fierce and rapid dance in a place sanctified by the water dripping from his forest like locks of hair with the elongated garland of a snake supported around his neck by striking his hand drum repeatedly with the resounding sounds of Dhamma 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 Dhamma. May this form of Shiva surround us with auspiciousness. I hope this explanation painted a clear image in your head of what Ramana Brahma wanted to convey through this first shloka. I'm not very good at sketching but if you are an artist or you know an artist who can depict the description in this shloka in an artwork, I'd love to showcase it in our upcoming videos and also tag your website or channel along with it. You can write to me at the Sanskrit channel at gmail.com if you have further queries regarding this. Let us now look at the pronunciation or the ucharanam of the entire shloka. I'll do it in a simple rhyme without any set tune. You can follow the line guide the first time I chant it and then rewatch this section chanting it along with me the second time. See if you can now relish the meaning of the shloka too along with the beauty of its sound. Jatatavi galat jalap pravaha pavita sthale galeva lambya lambitam bhujanga tunga malikam Damad 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 daman ninadavad damar vayam chakara chanda tandavam tanu tuna shiva shivam. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and found it useful. Share it across with those whom you think might benefit from this. If you wish to support the production of more videos like these, consider becoming a sponsor on Patreon or make a one time contribution all through the links in the description below. Also, consider subscribing to the Sanskrit channel where we explore hidden gems in the vast world of diverse Sanskrit literature. See you in the next video. Namaskaram.